What's up, y'all? Welcome to Epiphany Tarot. I am here to do the element check-in for air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So, we're going to go ahead and tap in air signs. We're going to see what y'all got going on, what's coming out in this reading. Please like, share, subscribe, all that good shit, comment, and we're going to get into it. Uh-oh. All right, so first card we got out is self-absorbed. So, uh, air signs, you could be in this really selfish energy right now. I feel like I, I'm hearing self-preservation. So some of you are just like, you're not wanting, ex not wanting to extend yourself to somebody in particular, or this is somebody doing this to you. Somebody here is like holding bad, preserving their energy, not wanting to be bothered. I mean, I feel like they're paying attention to the situation. They're seeing what's going on, but they're not giving to the connection really you know it's like somebody didn't pull back their energy with that self-absorbed card like real shit somebody's like pulled all the way back and they're just on some me shit right now yeah as soon as i open the deck self-indulgence so yeah somebody's on some me shit right now um, and i feel like this is you air sign and this is somebody that you're dealing with um and then we got romantic gestures so i feel like somebody wants to do something sweet for you they want to do something romantic maybe plan a romantic night or ask you on a date or like yeah make some sort of romantic gesture you know what i'm saying like it's like somebody's trying to do something romantic for you while you're in this selfish energy or this is you trying to do a romantic gesture for somebody that's in this selfish energy it's like somebody's like trying to like What's the word that I'm looking for? Like, I want to say lighten the mood. It's like somebody's trying to, like, lighten the mood or lighten things up or... It's like they're trying to soften you up by doing something romantic or some sort of gesture. It's like they're trying to, like... Yeah, because I feel like something happened here. Something had to happen here for somebody to be in this energy, self-absorbed to where they're not wanting to extend themselves anymore. They're not um, giving to the connection. They're not giving to the situation or you or vice versa. Like, it's something here that caused this person to, like, withdraw or retract. But I feel like the other person here is, like, trying to, like, be sweet or um do something nice or this could even be a date there could be like let's go have a drink or let's talk in person or something like that yeah because it says young at heart so this is somebody that you know whoever this person is that you're dealing with this is somebody who helps you tap into your inner child so this is somebody you have a lot of fun with you know what I'm saying? This person makes you feel young again. They they breathe life into you. They make you feel like life is worth living. Life is exciting and all that type of shit. But like this young and hard card can also indicate somebody who's immature. Somebody who just wants to have fun all the time. But when it comes to the serious shit, it's like this person doesn't want to get too serious. They want to have a good time. They like the ideation. They like the idea of romanticism. You know what I'm saying? All the cute shit. Like, yeah, let's take pictures. Let's go out on, you know, expensive dates. Let's look cute together and shit. But it's like, at that point, that's where it stops. Yeah, it says, as soon as I open the deck, it says the Grim Reaper. It says a relationship is over, no second chances. Grow and transform your life. So I feel like something's over here. It's like somebody's just looking at somebody like... It's like a smug energy out here. The way somebody's looking at somebody, it's just like... It's like they come over here with this romantic gesture and you're looking at them. Or they're looking at you just like... Like, almost like disgust. Yikes. I don't know what the fuck is going on here, Air Sign. Yeah, they, then on the bottom of the deck, we got karmic partner. Ooh, -wee. so this person could already be like emotionally attached to somebody else. Yeah, they could be attached to a woman. They could have a woman at home already or somebody that they have to report to or answer to. 
Um, because I feel like this could be a third party. Like we got two people out here with self-absorbed and karmic partners. So it's somebody out here who withdrew their energy because maybe they found out somebody was still either in a relationship or emotionally attached to somebody or they found out that somebody went back to somebody from their past. It's like whoever this person is, they could have been on a break from this karmic partner. You know what I'm saying? They could have temporarily broke up or something like that. And one of these people got involved with somebody else where they were having fun, having a good time, doing all kind of, kind of romantic shit, going out on cute dates and shit like that. Because whoever this karmic partner is that they were dealing with behind the scenes, they were on a break from this person, some sort of separation or break or something. And it's like maybe these two karmic people then made up. And so now the third party is out here looking like, really you know what i'm saying like really like you're gonna go back to somebody that is like not good for you not healthy for you like after we just got done having all types of fun and kicking it and the connection the vibe and shit you know what i'm saying like really and so i feel like somebody's like trying to reach out to you and like trying to like make it seem like it's not a big deal or I don't know what somebody's trying to do out here. This is some weird ass energy already. Let's see. What's the message here? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, I just seen the runner car. So whoever this person is, Whoever this person is that you're dealing with, this is somebody who runs away from connections when they start to get too deep. You know what I'm saying? This is somebody who's used to a certain type of female or a certain type of connection. You know what I'm saying? It's like they like like the beginning parts of a relationship where, you know, you're in a honeymoon phase when you're in love and everything is exciting. Everything is romantic and, you know, you don't care about anything else in the world, but you and that person. It's like somebody loves that beginning part of a relationship. But it's just like after those two or three months when the rose-colored glasses come off and reality hits, that's when somebody goes or runs or something like that. Let's see. Yeah, we got hand of cards. Yeah, I told you somebody likes to gamble. Like somebody here likes to play games. They play too much. You hear the dog barking? Confirmation. Take a chance. Risk being strategic options. Not showing hand gambling. Yeah, this person never really shows you their full hand. So this somebody you can meet this person, or this is your ass. But somebody can meet this person, and you know you don't know this person's agenda. You don't really know their motive because they don't re reveal any everything to you. You know, they start doing all this romantic shit, all this sweet shit, have you feeling in love to the point where you forget, period, where you forget to ask the important questions, right? It's like when you start dating somebody, you're getting to know them, you want to ask like, okay, so when's the last time you've been in a relationship? Are you seeing anybody? Like, where do you live at? You know, that's all the information that you want to collect when you're dating or getting to know somebody before you just dive all in, feeling in love and shit. But I feel like somebody here didn't do that. Somebody fell head over heels for somebody that was already attached to somebody else. You know what I'm saying? But it's because them and that karmic partner was on a break and they were just looking out, out here looking for something to do, looking for something to satiate them. Yeah, just playing games, gambling. Not It's like this person wasn't never... This person was never looking for anything serious because they, in the back of their mind, they knew they were going back. Going, they knew they were going to go back to this karmic partner. Like real shit. So, because it says being strategic, so this is somebody who knows what the fuck they're doing. They know they play this type of game. Like real shit, they know it's like. They they break up from this karmic partner. They fall out with this karmic partner, and then it's just like, oh well, we temporarily broken up. So this person uses that break 
to go have fun, to go kick it, to go start something new with somebody, to get that feeling, that young at heart feeling again. Yeah, it says love call. It says someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. Yeah, so for some of you, it's just like, but I feel like air signs, you're aware that somebody does this. Like, I feel like this may not have been the first time this person didn't did this shit before. It's just like, you know, when you hear from this person, they're up to no good. Like, you know, when this person contacts you, when they come in with this love call and all this love bombing and romantic gesture shit. You know it's because they fell out with their karmic partner, this toxic person that they're known for being with and shit. When you hear from this person, you know it's some bullshit or they know it's some bullshit when it comes to you. That's why somebody out here is like looking like disgusted. Somebody out here is looking disgusted and have pulled their energy completely back because it's just like, ew, like somebody who like... Like, you're literally okay with living your life like this. Like, playing games and being strategic and, and doing too much. Like, you're really okay with that. Like, you're okay that you're stuck to somebody who you don't even really like for real. Like, somebody who just lets you do whatever. Like, I don't, it's, I don't know what the fuck this is. Yeah. Ascending. It says transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. So, yeah, some of you, this shit is this type of situation or whoever this person is, is really like beneath you at this point. It's almost like, I don't know if this person's going to try to reach out to you or try to do some type of romantic gesture to lighten the mood after they did some fuck shit. But it's just like you're ascending. It's like you're growing from this. Transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. Yeah, somebody is just like, no. I will not be revisiting that type of karmic lesson. So you can keep your romantic gesture. You can keep this apology, this date, this offer, whatever the fuck this is, bitch. You can keep it. Like real shit. So whoever this person is that's playing games, I feel like they're getting rejected. They're getting turned down. Yeah, look at that lightning on the bottom of the deck. It says sudden it says sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, and transformation. Yeah, some of you are gonna be surprised to hear from this person. But like I said, this person has already it's like they were playing games in the past and you didn't know, like you know what I'm saying? Like you were probably weren't aware of what type of this what type of time this person was on for real. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like their hand of cards had cause the ascending wouldn't be out here if you didn't have to grow from something. You know what I'm saying? If you didn't have to elevate from something. So I feel like this person played you in the past or they disrespected you in the past. They were being strategic in the past where you thought they were on some serious shit. But come to find out they weren't. You re Their hand was revealed to you that they were trying to play you the whole time. Or they had no intentions on taking you serious because they went back to this karmic partner and shit. So it's just like now that you're hip on somebody's game, when this love call or this love gesture comes in and this person starts talking all this bullshit, it's like somebody out here already know what time it is with you or you know what time it is with them. Because this is something you already learned from, something you've outgrown, ascended from. Like this is, this the, whoever this is or whatever type of game this person's trying to play, it's beneath you like for real and it says lightning sudden change shocking news surprise epiphany upheaval yeah i feel like because the lightning the lightning bolt is that's like the tower energy so for some of you this could be a scorpio but i feel like this person may be surprised that you're not going for this shit or they're going to be surprised at the fact that you reject them it's just like bitch you're not coming over here with that shit like real shit Yeah, love call. It's like somebody only reaches out. It's like they only call you or only reach out to you when them and this karmic partner is having issues and shit. Yeah, this is somebody who risked the connection between y'all before. Gambling. Hand of cards, risk, take a chance. Like, yeah, this is somebody who gambled your connection. And even though, like, this person, like, they like, they enjoy the way that you make them feel with their young at heart card. It's just like, they don't want to take it serious or something like that.
It's like, this is somebody who wants to have their cake and eat it too. But since they can't, it's like they play stupid games in order to still get that. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, this is somebody who may like, I don't know. This may be somebody who believes in like polygamy or they have a desire to live like a pol like a poly lifestyle or something. But it's just like that they, they pick women who aren't into that. You know what I'm saying? This is like a weird motherfucker. This is like somebody who's into poly relationships. And while it's plenty of people out here who's into that type of thing, it's like this person likes women or men that aren't into that. That it like it's like they try to like I don't know. It's like they're trying to manipulate somebody into a a third party situation or a poly lifestyle and shit. It's like they're trying to groom or condition somebody by playing these type of weird ass games, like ghosting and disappearing and having somebody in the dark, not knowing what's going on and shit. It's like this is their mo. This is what they do because this is somebody who doesn't like to commit. They don't like to settle down or it's like they don't want to leave this karmic partner because they feel like they have their cake and eat it too with whoever this woman is. This karmic feminine that they're with, she lets them get away with a lot of shit or she always takes this person back no matter what they do. So they feel like whoever this karmic feminine is that they got at home, they feel like they got her on lock. She ain't going nowhere. She in a bag. So... But it's like this person still has a desire to like, I don't know, play around or something here. Or it's just somebody else that they want also, but they know they can't have this person as long as they're with the karmic partner. So it's just like they only get, like reach out to that person when they can or when they're free or, you know what I'm saying? Because if, if this person had, if this person had shit their way in the perfect world, him, this karmic feminine and this bitch that didn't pull back her energy, they would all be in love, living happily ever after. But that's not what's happening here. It's like somebody here didn't pull back their energy and let this person be with this karmic feminine energy because it's just like, I don't, yeah, somebody here doesn't, and they're not into that. They don't get down like that. They're not with that shit. So let's see. For this could be you, air sign. That's what I'm saying. It's just like, I don't know why somebody thinks that they can call you with this romantic gesture or they're just going to do some sweet and you're just going to forget about everything in the past or that whatever this is, is going to smooth shit over. Like, that's not what the fuck is getting ready to happen here. Somebody is the lightning bolt going to hit their ass when they know they're going to be shocked when you're just like, no, get the fuck away from here with that shit. Mm hmm. It's like this person's going to be shocked that you're rejecting them or declining this romantic gesture or you don't want to fuck with them no more. For some of you, this could be even like a married person. You know, this could be somebody who is married and they stepped out on their marriage, but they stepped out of their marriage and fell in love with somebody that they were dating or dealing with. Um, but it's like they know they can never really be with that person. So they went back home to their wife or their husband and shit. But they're still trying to reach out to this person. It's like somebody's like trying to cut off their sneaky link or something. It's like somebody's trying to like cut somebody off because it's not what they thought it was. Like somebody may have been under the impression that this person was going to leave this karmic feminine. Or they were going to get a divorce from this person to be with them. But that's not what's happening here. It's like this person is like, well, I'm not going to leave my wife or my husband or my karmic partner, but, you know, I I can still fuck with you. You know, when I, it's like, I don't know. It's like somebody wants a side bitch or something. It's like they got a relationship or they're with somebody or they're married and they're not going to leave that person, but they still want to fuck with you, air sign or vice versa. This could be your ass doing this shit and somebody's just like, I'm not going to get a divorce, but this is what I got to offer. Like when I am free, when I do get time, you know, I can hit you up. I can fly you out or something like, I don't know why I said fly out. So I don't know. This could be somebody famous doing this. Yeah, this is somebody who feels like, well, yeah, I'm married, but I'm a provider. I take care of my wife. I take her at home. I take care of kids. This is somebody who feels like since they're a provider, since they do everything, since they run shit or this karmic person lets them feel like they do, then that means that they got free range to do what they want to do in their spare time. 
And it's like they've connected with somebody out here, young and hard, and they were having a good time, having a fun time with. But it's like they showed their hands. Whoever this person is who realized that this person was on some fuck shit, they didn't pull their energy all the way back. It's just like, nah, I ain't fucking with that type shit. But now somebody's trying to reach out. They're trying to call you. They're trying to be romantic. They're trying to lighten the mood. They're trying to open you back up, get you to be vulnerable with them again and shit. Yeah, I feel like it's like when you pull back your energy, whoever's in this self-absorbed energy, it's like now that you know what type of time this person is really on, it's like now that you pull back your energy, now this person won't leave you alone. Like real shit, I feel like this person keeps trying to call you, keeps trying to reach out to you, keeps trying to like tell you they love you or some shit. And it's just like, bitch, what? Like, no, you definitely don't love me, bitch. Like, not doing shit like this, you you barely love you, motherfucker. You don't love me at all. Yeah, look at that. Two of Pentacles. Somebody's juggling. Yeah, two of pentacles with the hand of cards. Yeah, somebody is like juggling two people or they tried to in the past. They tried to juggle these two options. They tried to run two households. They tried to make two people happy at the same time. But I don't think that shit works. Like, it it, it, it stopped. It, it just didn't work. Shit. Yeah, look at that. As soon as I say it didn't work and then a ten of swords. Yeah, somebody got, somebody feels backstabbed, betrayed, uh, played. Like, real shit. The Ten of Swords is rock bottom. And that's, I mean, that is air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So, for some of you, that could be you feeling like that. Or it don't have to be. You know what I'm saying? But long story short, somebody out here is playing games. They 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 made somebody feel like they were in love. You know what I'm saying? They made somebody fall for them. Doing this all, this young at heart shit. Having a good time. Being romantic. Being chivalrous. Like, you know, had somebody thinking that they were really in love. Whole time this person was the two of pentacles type shit because they were on a break from this karmic. And it's like now that somebody realized like, oh shit, like you were never really going to be with me. You were never really going to leave your wife, leave your husband, leave your baby mama, leave your girlfriend. You was never really going to leave that person for me. So like what we was doing here was nothing type shit like it was nothing to you type shit like somebody here is really hurt behind that shit ten of swords they feel backstabbed betrayed uh man like and with these two people carrying this person i'm talking about they may have even had to reach out to like friends or family members to you know they had to call on somebody to help them you know what i'm saying because this could have really like broke somebody like the ten of swords is like the worst thing that you can do that's like a straight up betrayal that's like somebody straight doing you dirty okay it's like whoever found out that they were getting played or they were, were getting done dirty or this wasn't what they thought they was i mean it could have just broke them down you know what i'm saying they could have had to call siblings or best friends or something to like help them you know what I'm saying? Because this person could have literally, like, this person could have died. Not died, like, you know what I mean? Like, really passed away. But I mean, like, no. I mean, like, this person, it's like they couldn't believe it. They were, I mean, it's whatever this was, when they realized like, this person was playing them, it just, like, killed them. Like, somebody, it's like, yeah, because look at that. Lightning and stabbed in the back. Somebody, I mean, they didn't see this coming. Like, they are shocked. They didn't expect, like, wow. Like, so the whole time, like, this was a joke to somebody. Like, this, like, it meant nothing to you. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Excuse me. Air sign. Confirmation. But Knight of Wands here. Yeah, somebody was in this player energy. The Knight of Wands is somebody who's inconsistent. Some of you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. My allergies acting up today. But yeah, this is somebody who's in the Knight of Wands energy. Somebody who's in and out. Somebody who's there for a good time, not a long time. You know, somebody who wasn't planning on sticking around long. This is somebody who only you only hear from this person. They only reach out when they want to have a good time. When they want to fuck. When they want that feeling of, oh, we're young at heart. You know, that adventurous shit. You know, that, that, that 
uh, honeymoon phase of a relationship where you're just doing shit together. You're always together. You're having fun. You're kicking it. And it's just like, it's everything. You're just like, oh my God, I'm in love with this person. Like, this is my person type shit. And it's just like, somebody has been woken the fuck up. I'm talking about a tower here, a shocking attack. Somebody feels betrayed. Ten of swords by this knight of wands energy. Somebody who was only playing around. Somebody who had no intention of staying or sticking or being around or being there. It's like, no, nah, somebody was in and out. It's like they spent a couple of days with you or a couple of weeks with you. Hell, even a couple of months with you. Fucked you real good. It was charming, romantic. And this was, I mean, the Knight of Wands usually has good dick. So I'm talking about somebody out here was getting dick down. They was getting fucked right. They was having a good time with this adventurous ass person. You know, it's new, it's exciting, it's fresh. And then, boom, this person just took off or disappeared or went back to their girlfriend or something. Yeah, two of swords on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, it's like somebody it's like somebody's trying to ignore you, um, air sign, or you're trying to ignore somebody or ignore this situation. It's like somebody doesn't want to hear from this person. It's like this person is running in and out of your life. They did you dirty, knight of wands. The knight of wands with the ten of swords. This person did you dirty, bro. Like Yeah, and the Ten of Wands is like, they could have tried to play it off. They could have been trying to juggle you and another person for like a long ass time or as long as they could, but it didn't work. It became too heavy because I just saw the Ten of Wands. In this deck, the Ten of Wands, he's sitting on the ground because the wands got too heavy. He ain't had no choice but to drop them. So somebody, it, it, like somebody here didn't have a choice but to drop somebody because it became too much of a burden. It became too heavy to try to like, trying to please two people, trying to go back and forth, trying to be here, trying to be there. Like it got too much for somebody. So somebody had to take um, that 10 of swords. Somebody was bound to get hurt in this situation. I don't know if it was you, Arison, or I don't know if it's somebody else. It's like somebody was bound to get hurt by this Knight of Wands just because of how he was moving, being in and out, you know what I'm saying? Trying to be in two places at once, you know, like, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like whoever this person is, whoever this Knight of Wands energy, this masculine energy is who's doing this, he could be a Sagittarius or he got Sag in his chart. Whoever this person is, damn, what the fuck was I finna say? I don't know. Hopefully it come back to me. Yeah, this person could be secretly trying to communicate with you. The moon card with the eight of wands. It's just like they only reach out to you at nighttime or call you at nighttime. Or, you know, when they're away from this person, this karmic partner that they're in a relationship with is when they reach out to you and call you. And then look at his face. I feel like it's aggressive. You see his face? I feel like this person is like aggressively trying to reach out to you. I'm like, they're like... It's like when nighttime comes, when it's dark and this karmic person that they're with or they live with or married to, when that person is asleep or nowhere around, it's like this a person aggressively starts calling you. It's like they keep blowing up your phone, keep sending you long ass texts and paragraphs and shit, trying to get you to answer and shit. But I feel like you're ignoring this person. It's like, nah, I don't want to talk. It's like you're literally ignoring this person, like real shit. Yeah, that's what I was getting ready to say. Whoever this Knight of Wands is, this is either a Sagittarius or this is somebody who has Sag in a chart. They got a Sagittarius placement in their chart. But yeah, it's just like somebody else. Because I feel like this person loves both of these people. As sick as that is to say, I feel like this person loves this karmic partner. And they may love you too, air sign, or this is your ass. And I feel like this person could never make a decision. They were too indecisive to pick one or the other or one over the other with the two of pentacles. So it's just like, since they couldn't make their mind up, this person was like, oh, I got a solution. I'll just go back and forth between the both of them until it falls all apart and somebody gets hurt. <laughs> like, this person is a fucking clown. 
Okay, a, a clown ass bitch. If I've ever, if I ever read for one, like real shit. This is somebody who just stupid. Like the, their thought process is dumb. Like, like how long did you think this shit was gonna last? Or like I said, this person may be into like polygamy or shit. So they could have thought that eventually, like these two bitches are coming around, or eventually they'll start to get along and we'll all live happily ever after. Like, no, that's not what's happening here. Like, real shit. Like, nobody was ever finna be in a poly relationship with you, bitch. It was never finna work out. Like, the fuck? Why is the two of pentacles here? Yeah, world card. Yeah, like I said, this shit is over with. <laughs> this is like, hell no. Like, and for some of you, this is like, for some of you, this person is bold with it with the world card. Like, people can know about this online or what's the world card here? This cycle is over. Like, real shit. Yeah, page of cups. I told you this person was going to try to reach out to you. Like, the page of cups is some sort of romantic gesture. But I feel like it's failing. Like, this person was used to like coming in and love bombing you with the page of cups. For some of you, it could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. But they're used to coming in with this cup, with this fish in this cup, offering you whatever in this cup. Basically, just telling you what you want to hear. They're used to calling you, you pick up the phone, and whatever they say, you be good with it. You cool with it and shit. But I don't feel like it's worth it no more. Like, you don't want whatever is in this cup. You don't want the fish in the cup no more. You don't want it. Yeah, Knight of Cups. For some of you, yeah, this person is trying to apologize to you or they're trying to reach out to you. Or like I said, this could be somebody who's a liar. Because you see how he's you see how he's drinking out of the cup? So this could even be somebody who's just like, they're trying to get you to believe that they're going to do something romantic for you, romantic gesture. They could be like, oh my God, well, when I come see you or... I don't know why I keep getting, like, distance. So, I don't know if this is, like, a long distance shit for some of you. But I, I keep hearing stuff, like, I keep hearing, like, touch down when I touch down when I get there or something like that. So, I don't know how far this person lives from you or what or something. But somebody lives at a distance here. But this person, they be like, they call you and be like, yeah, when I touch down, I'm coming straight to you. Like, we're going to go out to dinner. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. Yeah, as soon as I open the deck in the Seven of Swords. And I, I feel like this person does this shit all the time, this sneaky shit. Some of you, this could be an Aquarius, but some of you, this person does this type of shit all the time, and they get caught every time they do it, and they still keep doing it. Like, I don't know what's wrong with this person. Like, real shit. With the Knight of Cups, this is somebody like, when I get there, when I touch down, I'm coming straight to you, baby. Like, I got you. You know, we're going to have a good time. I'm going to take you out. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. And then, it's like, when they actually get there, the only thing that ends up happening is you and this person fuck. And then, it's like, they never actually end up taking you out on that date or buying you whatever the fuck they said they was going to get you. It's like, they're just lying. Like, this person is drinking out of the cup before they get there. Like, this person don't plan on doing anything romantic with you. You know what I'm saying? They just want to tell you what you want to hear so they can get what they want type shit. Knight of Cups, they like to act like they're chivalrous and romantic and they're a gentleman and all this type of shit. But then it's just like soon as you actually see this person they don't do anything that they told you that they was gonna do they don't buy you that bag they don't take you out to that place it's like they don't do none of the shit that they said they was gonna do you just end up in the bed with this motherfucker and then it's just like now what yeah because you're the fucking empress and look at that the the um ace of wands with the empress I told you this person you are so this person is so attracted to you like the empress you're this person's ideal person like if this person could imagine themselves being with like just one person if they ever decided to settle down and imagine themselves being with one person you are their ideal person like you tick all the boxes on this person's list like you're the fucking empress it's like you don't miss you got everything this person would ever want in a person right but it's like they know if they commit to you 
it's just certain shit that they won't be allowed to do or get away with like they do with this karmic partner. And like for some of you, you've tried to be in this in a relationship with this person already before. Because like I said, that self-absorbed card is out here. Some of you tried to be in a relationship with this person already and you saw how they got down. They showed you their hand when you really got involved with them. So it's like now that you don't respect this person no more. They disgust you. You're completely turned off and shit. It's like this person still trying to come in and like get you back into that, that vulnerable, vulnerable place where you were loving and nurturing towards them. They want that affection and energy back from you because they don't get that shit from that karmic partner. The karmic partner is just like, bitch, I know you a hoe. It's like you cheat, you lie, you do all that type of shit. I ain't got no love for you, bitch. Just come back with that bag type shit. But like I said, it's just like the karmic feminine, it's like they stick with this person because they know they can do this type of shit. It's just like, yeah, she don't give me no love, but like she don't give me no love. She don't give me no affection and shit, but it's like she still let me do what I want. It's just like I could be gone for days and I know if I call her, she's still going to answer the phone. I could not talk to her all day, but when I get to the crib and I want to fuck, I want some pussy. I know she's going to give it to me type shit. So the karmic energy is a guarantee. At the end of the at the end of the day, this person knows when they out here playing these games and shit. If you don't work with nobody else, they know that if they call their karmic, they gonna get whatever they want from her. But you, you bring out your energy brings it's, it, it 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 your energy as the empress brings out a different it triggers a different energy in this person you're the empress it's just like every time this person around you every time they see you it's like they dig on hard it's like they just like fuck like you are so fine it's like this person finds you eerie fucking zestable okay but it's just like they can't do what they want with you either because the empress is somebody who got standards like baby you're not finna do that over here like real shit because look at that knight of swords yeah this is somebody who be ghosting in and out running around this person disappeared or they quit talking to you or you quit hearing from them or you ignore them and all that type of shit and i feel like this person is starting to get a little hostile you know what i'm saying i'm like like this person or this is you but whoever this this night energy is this person who's playing all these type of games they're starting to get hostile because the empress is not playing that shit no more you know what i'm saying it's just like yeah you played me once because like i said this is the after tarot so these cards are an indication of what has happened after after some shit that went down basically so this is this like i said you tried to be in a relationship with this person before as the empress you tried to be in a relationship you tried to love this person or whatever the case may be and like it just didn't work because this person's still on some whole shit they're immature they're a liar they're inconsistent you got three knights here ain't a fucking king in sight at all you got a knight of wands a knight of cups and a knight of swords ain't no emperor ain't no king nowhere this is somebody who's emma fucking chore like real shit it's like they want to come in love bomb you make all these promises they don't keep they just want to fuck they just want to have a good time they want to party they want to kick it they ghost you they disappear you don't hear from them and shit but it's just like you turn them on like nobody's business though it's just like everything about you is just fucking like I'm talking about all this person got to do is close their eyes and just smell your perfume and they dick on like rock, like real shit. And this person's in the five of pentacles. They may be feeling rejected or neglected or something like that. Or like I said, this person is going to be feeling rejected because you're going to reject their ass when they come in with this same old shit, this same old raggedy ass cup, like... You're going to be like, fuck no, bitch. Get the fuck away from around here. Like, this is somebody who don't believe that this type of shit. I don't know why this person thinks that they can still do this type of shit. Like, no, bitch. Like, what part don't you fucking understand? Like, this, this almost feels forceful it's like this is somebody if you're in the empress energy whoever this person is to you this is like somebody who wants you to force wants to force you to i don't know be in this weird shit with them like no that's the ten of swords here somebody could have got blocked or ignored this could have been you somebody could have blocked somebody here recently 
And this person, because you see how there's two men on these cards too. So this person could have even tried to like comfort some. Like if you're the empress and you're just like, fuck this person because they went back to their karmic partner or whoever the fuck they were with. And you were somewhere trying to move on with your life as the empress and move on. I feel like this person even tried to comfort like somebody knew that you were dating and shit. It's just like... Are you out your fucking mind? Like, don't sh say shit to somebody that I'm dating. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't say shit to you about that raggedy ass karmic or that lame ass karmic toxic bitch that you be with, you stay at home with. I don't ever say shit to her. I don't approach her. I don't mention her, bitch. Like, don't say nothing to my my person or anybody I'm dating. Like, get off that clown shit. It's like, this is somebody who wants to do what the fuck they want to do, but they don't want you doing nothing else with nobody. Like, so you get to run back and forth between me and a karmic, but then if I go get me somebody else, you got an issue? Get the fuck out of here. Like, real shit. This is like a straight up clown. Oh my God. Yeah, this is three of pentacles. This is somebody who wants to work with you again. They want to collaborate with you again. They want to be in your energy. You know what I'm saying? After they done, done you dirty. This is somebody who feels like they can come back towards you after they put you in the Ten of Swords energy. It's like they're trying to make it seem like this is somebody who doesn't take accountability. They betrayed you in the most ultimate way, but they're trying to come back. They trying to come back into your life like shit wasn't a big deal. Like it wasn't as soon as I opened the deck, the six of pentacles, like it ain't no big deal. I was just breadcrumbing you. What? All right, bitch. <sighs> Lord have mercy. This person is pissing me the fuck off. Like real shit. Because the audacity of whoever the fuck this is. Yeah, look at that. The devil. This is somebody who's toxic. Okay? They're bound to something. The Whatever this is with this karmic. Like I said, it could be a marriage. It's like they're stuck somewhere. Or they're bound to something that they know they can't leave. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're bound to this karmic relationship in some sort of way. I don't know what it is. For some of you, it's marriage. You know, this karmic refused to give them a divorce. So it's just like they can't move like they want to move because the devil is here. Like they're attached to something that is not easy to get out of. They're bound to something. You know, it will require a lot of work to break the chains of the devil that's here. And so since they don't want to deal with this devil energy, they don't want to go through this this uh they don't want to do the work to break the chains from this devil energy this karmic it's like they just rather run around or step outside of their relationship or make some type of weird ass agreement you know with him and his karma it's just like she's okay with this person doing what the fuck he wants to do as long as he bring his ass home with that bag she don't give a fuck because she 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 already knows like whoever this karmic feminine is she's already realized that this ain't the type of person that's worth the commitment, okay? But since I already committed to your ass, since we already married, since we already invested, since we already got these kids, I don't give a fuck what you do. Just make sure you bring me the money. Just make sure you pay these fucking bills. Just make sure you, you're where the fuck you're supposed to be when it's time to be there. And I think he agreed to this shit. He like, okay, shall I do that? But it's just like he's in love with somebody else. It's an empress out here that this person is in love with. But he fucked her over. Put her in the Ten of Swords at one point. And so now that the dust has settled, this empress is like, okay, well, that's the choice that you made. I'm going on with my life. You're doing something else. You're minding your business and shit. This person is still trying to like get into your energy and shit. It's like they still want to fuck with you even. And like this is somebody who still want to fuck with somebody after they done did them dirty. Because this ain't, this ain't no real player shit. A real player, a real player ass nigga. And I don't, I don't encourage or condone anybody trying to be in a player lifestyle. But the reality of it is, is people out here, they do that shit, right? But I feel like if you're going to be a player, you need to be a damn good one. A real player is going to tell you what it is up front and give you the option to decide if that's what you want to deal with or not. A real player going to let you know what it is up front. Like, look, baby, I can't commit to you. I got a bitch at home, but this is what it is. This is what I can offer you. And if you rock it with that, then I fuck with you. But if not, then this is where we, this is where it ends. This is where we part. Like, no, this is somebody who didn't keep it up front with you when they got involved with you. This is somebody who didn't keep it all the way 100 from the gate. 
This is somebody who tried to trick you into into some type of weird ass third party dynamic. This is somebody who knew they had somebody at home and they knew they were married and they knew they weren't going to leave this person, but they wanted to fuck with you or fuck you so bad that they promised you all this shit that they knew they couldn't fulfill, that they knew they weren't going to be able to come through on just so they can get what they want. And that resulted in the ten of swords that somebody getting really, really hurt real bad and now like i said now that the dust has settled now that the shit is over with or like the tower has already came through the bit came through this situation it's like now somebody's trying to reach back out they when they want to work with you and shit again what the fuck no through the piss absolutely not bitch for some of you this could be a co-worker this is somebody you was dealing with at your job yeah look at you you're the queen of pentacles like real shit. You're the queen of pentacles. You're focused on your money. You're focused on your coin. You're fo focused on your bag. You're not worried about this person or paying this person no attention at all. And I feel like that's driving them crazy. Like you ignoring this person and really driving them crazy. Because like I said, they don't get everything. They don't really get what, like, they get what they want from this karmic energy. But they don't get what they need. You know what I'm saying? They don't get love. They don't get nurturing. They don't get affection they don't get emotional support they don't get none of that from the karmic feminine she don't give a fuck what this person do but see you were giving this person love and emotional support and caring and shit so now this person is getting hostile and aggressive because you're refusing to give that give that to them anymore like no so this could be like somebody who's an energy vampire but it's just like a bitch Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, you're protected by the Most High, the Higher Fire, and the Queen of Pentacles. Some of you got a really, really good job, or you're just highly spiritually ranked. You could be a spiritual leader. You could have a YouTube channel or be a reader. For some of you, it's like you hold some type of high-ranking position with the Higher Fire and the Queen of Pentacles. Hell, some of y'all asses could have even moved on, and you're married now, and this person is still trying to like come in and and, and pick with your spouse and shit. It's just like, um. Like, that shit is old news. Like, you cheated on me. You did me wrong. I don't fuck with you. Everybody moved on. You with the bitch you wanted to be with. And I'm over here minding my business, minding my married business with my man or my relationship or whatever the fuck this is, this business that you got. You over here minding your business and this person is still at it. They're still, like, trying to come in and trying to get you to pay them attention. Like, at this point, it's just, like, embarrassing. It's like, would you get a life? You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like this person may have gotten into it with your husband or your spouse or your new person or something. And you just like, I'm just trying to ignore this shit and stay out of it because, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, but whoever your new person is, they don't play about you. Like real shit, they don't. So it's just like when this person bring their raggedy ass towards you, trying to reach out, trying to get your attention, trying to get you to do something with them. You're a new person steps in like, nigga, get the fuck out of here with this shit. Like, leave my bitch alone, nigga. Are you sick in the head? And I feel like this person is for some of you. This person is crazy. They do not like it over there with that, that, that karmic partner. They don't, they dealing with somebody who just lets them do what the fuck they want to do. This person is sucked out, fucked out. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're a whore because... They're not a wise energy. It's somebody who just likes to fuck. They feel like they sling ditch dick to every bitch and she just gonna melt right in his hands and shit. Like he got some type of control just because he fuck a lot of bitches. Like, that don't mean you got no control over shit. You're just a whore. You're somebody who can't control your sexual urges. You're immature. You're a loser. Like real shit. Like this person is somebody who thinks just because they're fine, they can get away with shit. But now they're in a relationship with somebody who lets them do just that. Do whatever the fuck they want and they feel some type of way about that. Why? Because you're a hoe? Because a bitch, you're with a bitch that don't give that don't give a fuck about you. A woman that cares about her man, she gonna be like, uh, uh, what? She gonna check you at the door when you doing some shit. But you, you got a bitch sitting. This person got a bitch sitting at home that don't care what they doing. Like she just lets you run around and be a hoe, fucking to your heart until you pass out, nigga. Long as you come back with that bag. Long as you make sure this house straight, you can do whatever the fuck you want to do. And I do not fucking care. Just make sure that your ass show up where you need to be when it's time to be there. 
But I'm like, what kind of life is that to live? Like you're you got you're married or living with somebody who literally don't give a fuck about you sabotaging your life. It's like that I don't care. This person will watch this karmic partner that they got at home will watch this person like do all type of stupid shit and just crash out and just do dumb shit and just like they don't say a word. They be like, as long as you bring that money back, I don't care. So shit, like that's crazy. Like yo, the karmic fam don't even give a fuck about this person. And like I said, that you know, the energy, the energy mirrors a lot of the time. So like I said, this karmic feminine doesn't give a fuck about this person no more because the empress don't give a fuck about this person no more. The empress has ascended. Like I said, this situation is a, is beneath you now. This is somebody that you would never even consider to be in a relationship. You're in the Hierophant and the Queen of Pentacles. You are protected by the Most High. Like, you are God's child. You're one of God's favorites. Like, God will never allow somebody like this back into your energy at this point in life. So, the fact that this person is trying to come towards you and is not in one's energy, trying to fuck and trying to do all this weird shit yes for some of you this person could be sending you like unsolicited dick pics or pussy pics or something because this could be a female too but this person is sending you like unsolicited it's like trying to i don't know what this person is trying to do but whatever they're trying to do is like you're not interested and you don't want it like real shit it's like they wife or they girlfriend that's at home she don't give a fuck about their ass either it's like the only reason this karmic feminine was tripping like, the only reason this karmic feminine may have been tripping at one point is because the empress was chipping at one point. When the empress thought that she was going to be in love with this person or thought this person was going to leave their wife or their girlfriend or for whoever the fuck for this person. And she might not, not even, she might have not even been the empress then when she was dealing with this person. Because, like I said, somebody here ascended. So, she could have just been like a queen of wands or a queen of pentacles or something like that when she met this person but she realized how he is down and how he was trying to play her she learned her lesson and she elevated now this person doesn't she's not interested in the karmic now she not interested because you know karmic feminists they like to compete they like to compete they like to you know what i'm saying but it's like nothing to compete for now because nobody wants this person It's like nobody wants them. This person is like low quality, low value now. Like this is somebody that people wouldn't even consider relationship material anymore at this point. It's like nobody sees this person as a valuable person to be in a relationship with. It's like if anybody fucks with this person now, it's legit only to have a good time and nothing else. Why is it... Not a wands here. And this person's trying to come back towards you. It's like they want to fuck with the Empress again. No. Are you fucking out your mind? It's just like a lot of you air signs, when you fuck with this person back in the day or whenever it was, like you weren't in your Empress energy yet. Now that you know you've been through this ten of swords energy, you realize who this person is is how dirty they play it's just like you're you're okay you accept it for what it is you're like okay i'll just move on with my life i learn what i need to learn i'm elevated i'm focused focused on my bag i'm ascending i'm growing you know i'm a better version of myself because of that shit you know ain't no hard feelings and shit just stay the fuck away from me but this person doesn't want to accept it it's like this person's trying to force you into doing some shit yeah four swords you're ignoring this person like four swords you're ignoring this person it's just like they blow up your phone, they call you, they text you, they send you long paragraphs trying to get you to react and you don't say anything. It's like you don't care. Four swords, two swords, you do not care. That's the four swords here. Yeah, look, three of swords and somebody's heartbroken behind that. It's like this person feels like, damn, don't nobody love my ass now, huh? Yeah, like, as soon as I open the deck, the death card, some of you just could be a Scorpio. It's just like, yeah, like, nobody gives a fuck no more. It's like, people do not look at this person as... People do not look at this person as relationship material no more. Like, real shit. It's just like, this is, like, legit somebody that you just have a good time with and keep it pushing. Like, real shit. 
Five, six, three of swords here. Yeah, because this definitely could have been a third party. Three of pentacles with three of swords. This was definitely a third party that got exposed. As soon as I opened the deck, the ace of swords. So that's the truth. This is a third party that got exposed. Motherfuckers got their hit, they heart broken in the process. Ten of swords, three of swords is out here. There's a lot of hurt feelings behind this situation. A lot of lies. A lot of bullshit. All because this person was indecisive. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles and the Three of Wands. Yeah, I'm telling you, this person is trying to like send you a message. They're trying to get your attention real bad. Some of you, this person could be asking you to unblock them and shit, and you're just like, no. Some of you, yeah, I'm hearing this person like calling people for private or different numbers and shit. Text app now, text now numbers and shit. It's like Knight of Pentacles. It's like they want to make you some sort of offer or apology and shit. It's like I said, because they want to get back into your energy with the Knight of Pentacles. It took this person way too long. And it's just like, they're not, they're still not even where they should be. The Knight of Pentacles is somebody who got left behind with the Three of Wands. This person's life is, they feel stagnant. They feel stuck. They're, they haven't accomplished a lot of shit that they feel like they should accomplish by now already. But it's a lack of maturity here. Yeah, Ace of Swords, and that's the truth. And for some of you, this could even be somebody who's successful. This is somebody who is doing well for themselves, or they they didn't manage to accomplish something in their life. But at the same time, their behavior and the way that they deal, the way that they are in a relationship, their extracurricular activities are taking more precedence than their actual talent. You know what I'm saying? So it's almost like this person could be good at something, talented at something, or accomplished something, or did something in their life. But because of the way that they move in relationships or this extracurricular lifestyle that they try to live, whatever the fuck this is, that that their personal life outweighs or outshines their, their talent or whatever their creative endeavors are. It's like, but somebody wants to work with you again. They want to I, I want to say make amends, but it's not even really make amends because this is somebody who's not trying to take accountability for their ten of swords they put you in. This is somebody that just wants to come back in and then act like everything cool. But they don't want to talk about, they don't want to get deep into their ten of swords. They don't want to uh, talk about why they did that shit or, or what the fuck really happened. It's like they don't want to talk about none of that shit. They just want to keep it light. They just want to have a good time. They just want to come back in and know that you still fuck with them. Or that you will still accept them in this toxic ass shit. It's just like, no, bitch. How's the Ace of Swords here? Yeah, Page of Wands. And a Page of Swords. Yeah, I'm feeling like for some of you, this person is literally like embarrassing themselves. Some of you, this person like openly stalks you. People know this person still tries to reach out to you. Like, a lot of people know that. This empress is the best person that could have ever happened to this person. And like this person's life has been fucked up ever since. Ever since they did you dirty air sign, this person's life has just been fucked up. They've just been running around, still dealing with karmics, still not finding no love. They can't replace your energy. They can they cannot replace your energy no matter what they do, no matter who they talk to, no matter where they go. And then they could have even went back to somebody that they used to be with in the past. But she don't give a fuck about their ass. She just she just like what this person can do, what they can provide. You know, they give her money or they buy her nice shit or they pay some of her bills. And she's just like, all right. You know what I'm saying? But this person is like, they don't feel important. They don't feel seen. You know what I'm saying? Like... It was like they're openly stalking you. Yeah, justice card. But see, this was some type of karma. This was this person's this was this is what this person gets for doing you how they did you for putting you in this ten of swords. This is their karma. And you see how these people are like begging on this justice card? It's like they're begging for mercy. So this could be somebody who's like literally begging to just talk to them, just you know what I'm saying? But I wouldn't recommend that. Yeah, it's like this person is trying to hold on to this shit 
Four of Pentacles, this is somebody who's trying to hold on to this situation or the, whatever they had with you, whatever this situation was, where they were feeling lighthearted and young and, and feeling loved and appreciated shit. They're trying to hold on to that feeling. But look at that. The Grim Reaper is right there. It's like this person knows that this shit is over. They need to let this shit go. They need to move on, but they're refusing. They literally telling they're liter literally telling the Grim Reaper no. Like the Grim Reaper is like, I'm here to collect. Like this shit is over with. Like I'm gonna need you to let that go and hand it over here. And they're like, no, I'm still hanging on to it. It's like somebody's trying to hang on to a dead situation. It's over. Like real shit, the tables have turned. Things have shifted. Will of Fortune and Three of Cups. Like somebody is out here living their best life and not caring about nothing that this person is doing. For some of you, this could be a Taurus. Lots of Three of Cups. Because it's like this person doesn't want to change. It's like you let them back in your life, but they're... They're not trying to come back in to change shit or fix shit or to heal. They just want to come back in and then have shit be the same like it was before. But too much shit has changed. Too much time has went by. Too much shit has transpired. Or this tower exposed too much shit for shit to be back the same. Like this is somebody who's trying to put the pieces of the tower back together. You can't do that. Once the tower hit, it, that's it. You don't have no choice but to start over. Build something new. But this person is trying to glue back together pieces of the tower. Like, who the, who, who, who does that? I'm saying, like, no. And then you're being you're exposed from being a player, a liar, a cheater, a whore, a manipulator, like, a stalker, a weirdo. It's just like, why do you think that somebody is going to be interested in you like that again? Yeah, this person is just refusing to let something go. They don't want to let it go. They don't want to get over it. They can't get over this connection that they had with you. They feel like it's not fair that they got to be forced to move on, that they won't get a second chance, that they can't have you back, that you want nothing to do with them. They feel like that's not fair. They feel like that's too harsh. That's too much. That's, that type of karma is not fair. That's not just. You know what I'm saying? This person puts you in the ten of swords. And they feel like, you cutting them off and want nothing to do with them is too harsh of a, of a of a judgment. Like, you don't get to decide your consequences after you do something dirty. You just accept whatever consequences there are because you were doing some shit you don't have no business. Yeah, look at that sun card. Yeah, this person got exposed. It's in the light now. Whatever this person be doing, it's in the light. For some of you, this person even could have had another kid by somebody or they're getting ready to with the sun card here and the two of swords. It's like, nah, nigga, you've been having babies on motherfuckers. You're a cheater, a liar, a whore, a sneak, a con, a fraud, a, a manipulator. Like, you play too many games. You don't keep your promises. You're just a terrible fucking person with terrible characteristics. And you think somebody wants to give you access to them again? Absolutely not. Who the fuck in their right mind will give this person access to them again? Nobody. It's like, this person can't even get new karmics. Like, I don't even know. It, it could be, like, new karmic feminines out here that are aware of this person, and they don't want shit to do with them. Even, like, how are you getting turned down by karmic energies? That's crazy. Like, even the toxic, low-vibe women and men don't want shit to do with you. That's crazy. Like, oh, my God. Why is the sun card here? Yeah, King of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like a lot of you have a new man or you got somebody else or you moved on. Or like I said, this could just be you. You didn't boss the fuck up. But for some of you, I feel like you got a new relationship out here. The Queen to the King of Pentacles and the Hierophant. Like you're dealing with somebody new or you're in a new connection that could potentially lead to marriage. Like real shit. Yeah, six of pentacles. Yeah, somebody who, who really wants to reciprocate, equal give and take and shit. Yeah, nine of swords. I'm telling you, this person, it's like they want some of your energy so fucking bad. It's like ridiculous. It's like this person is haunted. Look at that nine of swords. They have so much guilt and regret for treating you like they treat you. 
but they feel like it's not fair because they never had a chance to make it right. Like, nigga, you had a, a bunch of chances to make it right. You could have quit doing that shit or quit playing games at any point, but you chose not to. So now you walking around talking about it's unfair that you don't get a second chance with the Empress. Like, you're a loser. Like, nobody has to take you back. Like, the fuck? It's like, this is somebody trying to force somebody to take them back. No. Like, you missed out. You lost. It's over. Move on. You know, the high priestess, and that's the truth. You know this person is going through it. This person's having anxiety, panic attacks. They can't sleep and shit. That shit is really haunting them. Their guilt is eating them the fuck up day and night. They can't, th they can't think about nothing else but how they did you. Yeah, some of you are single, nine of pentacles and a high priestess, or you have a tarot business, you're a reader for some of you. Or this empress, this person that they want another chance with is this high priestess, a nine of pentacles. She's a tarot reader. Yeah, look at that devil. Somebody's obsessed with this high priestess. A like real shit, they're obsessed with this high priestess, but this high priestess doesn't even speak to them. She won't say a word. She won't talk to this person or she blocked them, ignored them or something. Devil card, yeah. For some of you, this person still masturbates to your photos and shit. Like real shit. Devil with the ace of wands, they probably overdo it too. It's like this person's always masturbating to your photos or old pictures of you and shit. It's like, ew. This person is disgusting. Like real shit. Yeah, seven of swords. Look at that. It's like something's wrong with this person. Like, for real. I feel like a lot of you don't got them all. I mean, this person don't got them all. And the wands is like this person just sits up and try to think, calculate, and strategize how to get back into your energy. It's like this person has lost their damn mind. Like, real shit. This all this person do. Seven of swords with the ace of wands and the devil. That's all this person does is think about weird-ass ways of how they can get back in your energy. How can I how can I trick the high priestess? How can I get her to speak to me? How can I message her? How can I what other app can I use to talk to her? Like what other number? How do I you know it's like this person is like crazy, like real shit. This person is obsessed with you. Or this is your ass. So you could be dealing with a Capricorn, yeah, not a swords. It's like somebody is literally crashing out over you and you're over here winning. Six of Wands, you're in your winning season. You're minding your fucking business. You're getting a lot of attention. People are giving you your flowers. Some of you can have a platform or you have, you know, you're popular or well-known and well-respected and shit. And it's just like people don't pay this person no mind. It's like people know that somebody is out here crashing out behind you and they don't care. People don't, people don't care about this person losing their mind and crashing out. It's like people know that this is karma for this person because how dirty they did you. So it's like people are just getting backing away from this person, getting out of their way and letting them get what's coming to them. Like real shit. And this was coming out in a fire sign reading too. Like fire sign reading, I was uh, talking about how somebody feels indebted to somebody. And so you could be an air sign dealing with a fire sign or a fire sign dealing with an air sign. But yeah, somebody's in their winning season out here. Like, somebody has elevated from this shit, ascended. The high refined, the nine of pentacles, the high priestess, and the six of wands, the sun, and the will of fortune out here. Somebody who is winning now in life. They won. Yeah, look at that. As soon as I say they won, the empress, she won. She came out on top of all of this shit. The karmic feminine... She ain't even, the karmic feminine not even making a move at all in this situation. Even the karmic, even the karmic feminine has got the picture to lead this fucking empress alone. Even she don't fucking bother, she doesn't even bother the empress no more. But this karmic masculine, he don't know what to do. He's losing his fucking mind. He like, I cannot believe that I am stuck with this karmic bitch. I'm stuck. Like, I'm. this is it for my life. This is all I'm going to ever get. I don't get to be with the empress ever again. It's like this person's going crazy. Yeah, star card. And you're healing. You're minding your business. Healing, star. Some, somebody out here could be famous with the star, the empress, and the six of wands. It was like your your like your popularity is increasing or whoever this empress is. Yeah, chariot, you moved on. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, Queen of Wands. Yeah, you're not playing with this person. You do not play. It's like, you can't come back over here, bitch. The glow up is real. Yeah, you are the magician, the manner, manner, the master manifester. Or this person is always constantly trying to manifest you. Like, real shit. Six of Swords. And I feel like you're not even upset with this person about this Ten of Swords. It's like you're past the point of being upset. You're past the point of holding a grudge and shit. It's like you don't care. You wish this person the best of luck with their life and whatever they choose to do. Just stay the fuck away from me. But this person, they can't stand it. They can't take it. Yeah, this person wants to offer you the Ace of Pentacles, but you don't want that shit. Yeah, Tower, they're going to be shocked when they realize that you don't want that shit. Or that you got it with somebody else. Yeah. They chose up and they chose wrong and they lost out. Period. But anyway, y'all, this has been our reading. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good shit. And I will have a time later. Peace.